I'd say for the most part this cage here and this fan shined up pretty well. I mean it's uh I just use a little bit of steel wall and it brought it right to life. Now the motor is completely re-oiled and everything and ready to go. does run pretty good. That cap in the center there is a little bit loose. And an Eskimo or McGraw built fans, if they're uh, loose, they tend to be a little noisy. So sometimes it helps just to find a way of stopping those from rattling. All I did was bent the tabs a little bit more and it worked. I had to do quite a bit of work to balance the blades. They were a little bit out of whack for some reason. Luckily the cage isn't bent. So, I'm very happy with how it turned out, despite the few things it's missing. It's missing, I have only one of these feet, the other one's missing, so right now, I just lean up against a piece of wood I have, which works quite well. For the meantime, I'm missing one of these slides right here. Let me see, I can probably take it out. See, this is all the slide is. Uh, I'd say it's about, it adds about an extra foot to the fan. See? That extra foot. And it's all the way in. Covers up the back part of the blade by about a quarter of an inch. And there'd be one identical to this on the other side, I imagine. It might be a little bit cut out for the wire to run through. But, other than a few things just missing in the back cap to where that wire runs through. I'm very happy with it because I really wanted one of these for a long time and this one runs real good and it's not missing an entire lot that's important. So until next time.